How's it going, everybody? Me and my lady are so excited right now. We just got our biggest prep of the summer thus far. And this was actually a gift to us. Her parents actually went out and bought this for us. And I can't say thank you enough. They help us out so much. We love them to death. And it's just great to have them in our lives. But anyway, this is a chest freezer by Kenmore. And as far as I know, this uses as much electricity as a light bulb. So not much at all. So eventually I'll probably get like a generator or backup power. If something happens where this goes down, I'll have a way to back it up. And it won't take much to do it. Now this isn't the biggest freezer in the world, I'm sure many of you are aware. It's only a 7 cubic foot one, but compared to what we had before, it's light years ahead. We were using the top to a fridge freezer, and I don't know if you guys have ever had one, but there's not much room in there. I think we only have like 3 cubic feet or something in there. Compared to this, it's like double plus some. So it's pretty awesome. If you want to see my old freezer, go look at my Prepper's fridge video. I took that months and months ago, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. But anyway, what would a freezer be without what's inside of it? Let's check this out, guys. That's right. It's filled all the way from the bottom to the top with meat. We went to the butcher today. We got a mixed quarter of beef. And then we got like a quarter of a pig. So we have everything from T-bones to roast to ham. We actually have turkey in here too also. We have chicken. We have hot dogs, shrimp, everything. Several hundred pounds of food. We're pretty excited. So hopefully we can keep rotating this out, make it last a lot longer. The way it stands right now, I think we have enough to last till probably somewhere in the fall. Maybe around Christmas time. You never know. But it's pretty awesome. I just want to see if you guys have suggestions for backup power for this, write it down in the comments below. We do have this Cabela's dehydrator, but I don't want to be in that position where I have to dehydrate everything if something happens. I just want something that will keep it going. For whatever happens for any length of time maybe a month or so no problems so remember to rate and comment do video responses if you want don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later